I want to share another leadership stand verb with you guys. Stand verb. And it's uh, in the form of a reality check. Take a look at this image. It's a sad image that you see of this enormous whale washed up on the beach that's already dead. And these things happen from time to time. And here's the thought that I wanted to share with you, the leadership thought, that never allow your ego, your pride, your self-centeredness, or even your success to get the best of you, or else you might end up like this whale uh, washed up on the beaches of life. In other words, uh, we understand that this whale does not belong on the beach. We understand that this whale is meant to be in the ocean, in a large body of water. But how does that relate to our life? How does that relate to your life? Especially those of us who are leaders, who are in business entrepreneurs, where we influence people, that if we're not careful enough, that we can allow our own pride, our own ego, to totally blind us, that we stop, we forget to see the boundary lines, and we end up washing out uh, on these shores where our life is, becomes broken, in despair, destroyed, devastated, so on and so forth. And you know, this is also a question of character, that if we're not care be careful with our character, if we do have a flawed character, uh, like if you're not uh, uh, showing integrity in your business, if you're not uh, being honest with your contracts, that uh, you could, your business couldn't end up uh, washed up uh, on the shore of the beaches and broken, devastated. I'll even take it as far as this, that uh, if you're not even faithful in your marriage, in your relationships, yeah, your marriage will come crashing down and it will get washed up on the seashore also. So I guess uh, the challenge, the leadership challenge for all of us is this, uh, that we need to continually analyze our heart. We need to continually uh, be honest uh, and express uh, the right character, express uh, integrity, honesty, truthfulness, and everything that we do. Because for whatever reason, I don't know the details and the logistics, you know, but uh, this whale was washed up uh, on the shore. And obviously that's not where the whale belongs. And because of its massive body, it has no feet like we have feet, it wasn't able to go back into the large body of water where it belongs and eventually died. So my friend, we need to be careful and uh, we need to continually analyze our life. We need to continually analyze uh, our behaviors. We need to uh, analyze our heart. We need to analyze our character. We need to analyze everything about our life so we won't end up like this whale washed up on the beach. Because what is the beach for? The beach is a place where we go to relax, to sunbathe, to enjoy vacations and etc. But if we're not careful enough, if we start doing things behind uh, people's backs, if we start breaking the law, if we're not uh, accountable to the business contracts that we're doing, if we're not a person of our word, we say one thing, but behind uh, the person we do something else, then it's just a matter of time until it catches up to us and things become broken down. And then instead of us uh, freely swimming in a large body of water, enjoying our businesses, instead of us enjoying our relationships, our friendships, our marriages, things become crashing down and we ourselves end up washed, washed up on the, on the beaches uh, instead of us being sitting and enjoying the beaches in our personal life. So take this uh, Stanford Challenge, my friend. Stanford Challenge. And continually analyze your heart.